I'd like to preface this episode by saying that I am not a violent man. I'm not an aggressive man. I believe that we should talk out our problems before resorting to physical action. And I believe that we should be more willing to de-escalate situations as opposed to escalate them. That said, I am also a man who enjoys revenge. In all forms and flavors. Cold, hot, sweet, violent, deadly, gory, bloody, murderous, and torturous. And for that reason, I have decided upon a method of attack, we should say. I'm going to get every ounce of possible revenge I can squeeze out of that tiny little four-penis red echidna bastard. He has done nothing but cause me issues. Make me want to commit suicide. Make me want to commit mass genocide. Rip my own hair out. Rip my own pubic hair out. Rip my nose off. Deep fry an orphan. Deep fry a Twinkie inside of an orphan. Deep fry the President of the United States. Eat Cheetos without making sure that they're open first. That one doesn't make any sense, but that's how crazy I've gotten over wanting to get revenge on Knuckles. I don't like him. I don't like anything about him. I don't like his face. I don't like his stupid mug. I don't like his stupid hat. I don't like his stupid home. And I don't like him. So what are we going to do? We're going to fuck that little bastard's day up. That's what we're going to fucking do. Redo! So that didn't happen. Yeah, so... I originally came in here and I was gonna use hypersonic to trash Knuckles, but... Um... With the slip of the button... And, uh... Just the way that timed up, I... <laughs> I couldn't, um, I couldn't ignore that. Hey, this looks familiar. Hey! Hey, look! Eggman's betrayed Knuckles! We'll help! You should, you should, you shouldn't do that! Don't do that! Don't, oh, oh, he did it. Hey, are you okay? Oh! So, uh, you look like you got your ass kicked. So, Ma Eggman has stolen the Master Emerald, and Knuckles has decided that we're good guys now. That's... I mean, we look similar, Knuckles. Uh, we're, we're anthropomorphic animals. I mean, shit, humanity kind of screws us over on a regular. That said... Welcome to Sky Sanctuary Zone. If you've played Sonic Generation, you should be familiar with this stage. If you played this game, you should be familiar with this stage. This is... Hell, if you're a fan of uh, Super Mario Bros. Z, have I got a treat for you. Sky Sanctuary Zone is a very large... Nice way to uh, lead into the final zone of the stage. Or, final zone of the game. I, 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 I enjoy the, uh, the boss fights and the egg robos. Um, also, the, uh, this whole stage here is, um, on Knuckles' playthrough. This is the final stage for Knuckles, um, but there's, uh, actually something interesting to playing this with Sonic. Um, so as the Death Egg rises into the sky and you see all those egg robos that, uh, the robots that fly out and swarm the sanctuary, yeah, um, so one of those that we don't destroy... <laughs> Stays behind and decides to fuck with Knuckles, and that's his whole playthrough. So, you know, that'll be fun to play through. I've decided I think I am going to do Knuckles playthrough, I just haven't decided when. But I do uh, want to show the Egg Robo boss fights, and some of the differences that are in Knuckles' playthrough. At least in this one. Because this ROM hack doesn't just fuck with Sonic. 
So hey, that's a familiar face. That looks like me. Only it's not. And this is a familiar boss fight too if you played the first Sonic game. What's going on here? That was way too familiar. Is Eggman doing his old tricks again? So he's got a Metal Sonic from Sonic CD. He's got the first boss fight from the original Sonic. Hmm. Something don't smell right. It smells like this is supposed to be a good Sonic game. It smells like paying tribute and homage to old Sonic games in very, shall we say, respectful and interestingly fun ways. That's not something Sonic does. Sonic goes for mediocre play and gimmicks and kissing girls that are human. Also, I'm pretty sure this was from Sonic 2. It might not have been, but I'm pretty sure it was. Also, it's a really easy boss to beat. You literally just have to knock all of those pods off of the uh, Eggmobile and then you have to destroy them all. I kept trying to hit him because I thought that that was what I was supposed to do. I had to hit him a third time, but nope. Once you destroy all the pods, Mecha Sonic, as he's known. It's not Metal Sonic, it's Mecha Sonic. He got an upgrade. Flies off like a coward. And then you ascend to the third level of Sky Sanctuary. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Ha. I only have 85 rings. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to talk about. So, particularly uses for the shields out of everything, I think the electric shield is the most useful, and I think the fire shield is great for recovering from, oh shit, I fucked that jump up jumps. Like I did, not there, but earlier. And what I mean by that is, if you misjudge a jump, and then you tap back in uh, the uh, jump button again, you'll launch in that direction. And if you're quick enough about it, you can save yourself from jumping off, say, of like a bottomless pit, or jumping onto a pit of spikes, or jumping into an enemy that you can't hit. It's a really nice way to save your bacon. But, once we take this final teleporter, we rise to the final boss of the stage, right? No? No. No, we don't. Oh yeah, that's right, it's up here. Hey, that's not how that's supposed to work. Go up. No. There you go. Yeah, so, um, I think I glitched the game unintentionally. <laughs> this teleporter, this is the one that takes us to the final boss. And it's Mecha Sonic! So, you wanna fight, eh? Well, go. Oh, God! You're supposed to run forwards, you asshole! So Mecha Sonic's actually a really easy fight. I thought he does a turnaround before he does his rush. Um, but I think he does that in the Knuckles uh, fight with him. Um, so he caught me off guard. But he's actually pretty easy. All you really have to do is just wait for him to dash at you and then you can just jump on him. And you know what? You're not allowed to hog my spotlight. Fuck you. But we have to hurry because the death egg's getting away. So as we run up the spiral faster and faster, as fast as we possibly can, we're going to do the improbable and jump a clear depth of field that gives us like, what, three miles into the death egg? I didn't know Sonic could launch himself that fast. Maybe Tails carried him. <laughs> 